Hi, George. Uh, this is Wee Young from Prestige Panama Realty. And we are making this meeting in Zoom. You are right now in Tampa, Florida. And we want people from Panama to know what's going on around the world. So in Tampa, how's the economy right now? Uh, hi, hi everyone. Uh, George Sotirio in Tampa, Florida. Um, uh, tell us, tell us what's your what's your profession, so people know what are you doing. Yeah, I'm a human resources analyst. Uh, I work for a big healthcare organization here in the United States. Uh, it's in about 20 states, um, and we have about 150,000 employees. Um, so I do human resources analysis uh, for the technology uh, part of the business, uh, and I work from home from here in Tampa, Florida. So the first question is, how's the economy in Tampa? Is this normal? Is not normal? Is just what's what's your opinion? No, there's there's nothing normal about the economy. Uh, most most businesses are closed. Uh, the only businesses that are allowed to remain open is the essential uh, businesses like grocery stores, pharmacy, um, department stores, you know, mechanics, some of the mechanics. So, you know, if something breaks, you can go fix it. Um, of course, you know, healthcare facilities. Uh, but a lot of businesses are, are closed. Um, mainly because if there is uh, 10 or more people uh, gathering together, uh, that's, that's not allowed. So places like you know, anywhere from a restaurant to a, a stadium uh, to any other stores, uh, everything is closed. So the economy is suffering a lot. So if you go out on the streets, there's a few cars, people going around or the usual? No, the traffic in the street, uh, if you go out, it's, it's less than half of what would be on a, on a normal day. Um, like here in my area in Tampa, there's always traffic. That, that, that's one of the bad things about Tampa. It's a, it's a pretty big city. Um, about uh, 4 million people, the whole area here. Uh, so there's always traffic, but now there's there's no traffic at all. I mean, you can get to from one place to the other with no problem because there's no traffic. So most people are staying home. Um, they only go out when they need to buy something. Okay, okay. I wanted to ask you another question. How is the healthcare insurance working with the pandemics? So, in your point of view, uh, the healthcare, uh, of course, you know, this is a new virus. They, there is so much they don't know about this virus. But um, I guess a good thing about it, well, there is a lot to begin with in the United States. If someone is in a critical condition, and they go to the emergency room, even if they don't have health care insurance, even if they don't have money, the health care company um, is obligated to take them in and treat them. Um, and of course, they won't get paid, but they, they, they have to take them in and treat them. Um, but of course, you know, being a, a system of private health care, there's no public health care here. So some people, they even when they're when they feel sick, they don't go because they know they're not covered. Um, they know they don't have uh, money to pay. So, so that's not good. Uh, but as a general rule, though, um, most companies are saying if you're sick with the coronavirus, Kano will take care of you and we won't charge you. Okay, so people with insurance and not insurance with the pandemia of the coronavirus, 
they are being taken care of? They are being taken care of, yes. But but to begin with, to begin with, where, where the problem starts, uh, there was not enough testing. So to begin with, you know, even though people had the virus, they didn't know because there was no test. Okay. And some of them, they don't have, you know, they thought if they go in to test themselves, they might charge them. So people with no insurance and low income, they, they wouldn't go in. So those people stayed out in the streets and they infected other people. So the lack of testing was the first problem. Okay. And then now, now the, the other problem is private healthcare. There's no public healthcare where everybody knows that they can go and get the basic healthcare. So some people, a lot of people think twice before they go to the hospital because of that. Okay. And that creates problems because it's a virus. They stay out there and they infect other people and it makes it much worse. Well, at one point, the, the pandemic is going to be over or maybe controlled. What do you think is going to happen after people start getting out? Like, you know, it's safe to go out. What do you think is going to happen? Things are going to pick up or people will stay at home. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, going back to normal, it's, it's not going to happen overnight. So even now they are saying on May 1st, they want to reopen the economy. Um, but I don't think that it, that will be easy. It's going to be very hard and it's going to happen in stages. So they might open a, a few, th a few places, a few uh, businesses, parts of the economy, but there's going to be a lot of restrictions. So, Going back to normal, it's going to be a step by step and it's going to take um, a long time. I mean, the economy will, will start going back reopening, but it's going to be much different than what we used to know it for at least the next year. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen to these uh, local businesses in your area? Do you think they're going to just go bankruptcy or they will try to open? What, what do you predict on that? Uh, the government, they, the good thing about the government, they are planning to help uh, people and, and small businesses survive. So uh, this week we're supposed to start getting money from the government. They will send us $1,200 for every adult and $500 for every child. So these are basically free money from the government to help us basically have more money, go spend it and get the economy back. Uh, they also plan to give a lot of money to small businesses so they can survive because right now, for example, you know, one of the restaurants we used to go here in the neighborhood, uh, it's closed. I think we were probably one of the last customers to go there. It's like a little Thai restaurant. We're young, you've been there. We took you when, when you came here. So that restaurant now is closed. There's no income for the owners. The people that work there are unemployed. And, you know, they, they are applying for unemployment. But then the owner has basically no source of income. So if the owner of that restaurant, if they do the right moves and they make sure they get the help from the government, I think they will survive. If, um, if they don't do that, they might not never reopen because of the financial uh, catastrophe they're going through. Okay, so, so let, me, let me recap that helping of the government. So if you have a family of four, the wife and the husband and two kids, you should be getting around $3,400, something like that? Correct. Right. Total, yes. 
Okay, and it's the it's not gonna be the same for small businesses. I guess they're gonna give them another kind of money, or just because I own one company, a small restaurant, let's say, by myself, they will just give me uh, twelve hundred dollars. Do you know about that? Uh, no, that's if you own a small business, the amounts that I gave you twelve hundred mm -hmm. for each adult, five hundred for a child, mm -hmm. is for all the people. Even if you don't have a business, so everybody's getting that. Most people uh, get that unless unless they make more than a hundred thousand dollars a year, which is most Americans will get that money. Uh, now, small if you own a small business, that help is gonna be much more. Uh, so they're gonna give the small businesses incentives and help money basically uh to reopen when you know when it's possible okay well um that's gonna help so people will have cash in their hands and they will try to use it somehow so i guess the, the economy will will try to get back as soon as possible i guess that's the plan from the government right right but even with all that help from the government the economy is uh, being affected very negatively overall, right? Because in the example of our family, I work from, I work from home. I still have my job 100%, but Selena, my wife, she's basically unemployed now. Um, she's still employed with the company, but they just don't have work for her. So even though we get, we're getting help from the government, she's uh, not getting paid uh, from her job. So overall, we're gonna have less money, right? So overall, we're gonna spend much less. Uh, well, we can't spend it anyway. We can go to a restaurant, we can go you know, on a vacation right now. So the economy will, is shrinking. Um, so even when the things are start to reopen, people will spend less money because they have been, a lot of them have been unemployed all this time. So they have less money to spend. So the economy is going to suffer. That's for sure. Do you know what the unemployed uh, people, what, what do they have to do? They have to go to the government? What was the reason to go to these places I see on TV that are making a long lines, just reporting that they are unemployed? What's, what's the reason for that? Is the government going to give them something extra or what? Yeah, the reason for that, yes, the, the government is increasing the, the unemployment benefits by $600 a week. So that's a lot. I mean, you can get more than $600 a week uh, as an unemployment benefit so that's that's good money um, but the reason you see the long lines is because so many people became unemployed at the same time so basically in the past month there was more than i think it's about 15 million americans became unemployed so what's better? What's better to go to this unemployment thing from the government, or you sit at home and wait for the twelve hundred? No, you you have to do both, because the twelve hundred, I mean, based on the cost of life here, it's not. I mean, it's not a huge amount of money. You can spend that in a, in you know, two three weeks here. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so you have to apply for unemployment and get that unemployment check every week. But because so many millions are doing, are trying to do that at the same time, the unemployment websites are going down. Uh, people end up going to the offices. There's long lines. They, they just have to wait because there's so many of them and it's going to take time for, you know, to process all those unemployment claims. Okay. Yeah, I see. I see. I have, I have another question that um, it has to be with technology. I know that you work from home and you handle software and other stuff. 
And you just told me that your wife, Selena, is uh, unemployed because maybe she cannot go to work. But with technology being so advanced now, is there a possibility for her to do some online sessions and maybe she can, she can get money from that by doing it on herself? Or the, the place where she works, I don't know what's the name, or they have to do that for her so she can still keep working at home, taking care of the customer through all the software that you can see people, talk to them and maybe help them with some information and how to do some therapy yeah. because other people can help you out doing it at home. Yeah. Um, well, first of all, technology, as you probably know for yourself and in most countries where there's internet and and you know computers and and they're advanced enough technology is saving the world right now i mean how else would you see your friends and family if it wasn't for technology how would you communicate with people if it, if it wasn't for the, so the internet and technology is basically saving the world right now now for jobs there are some jobs that you cannot do um even if you use technology. So Selena, my wife, she does physical therapy, which physical therapy, you basically go there and you tell the patient what exercises to do, what stretchings, they work, you know, uh, with whatever body part has an issue, they work with them, they, they physically treat the patient. So that cannot be done uh, really online you have to go and see the patient. So even with even within hospitals and healthcare, a lot of people are getting unemployed because they cannot do their jobs without actually being there. Um, and, and another example in my company, we have about 150,000 employees and most of them are clinical, like doctors, nurses, uh, surgery technicians, things like that. But even then, a lot of them do not have work right now because if you cannot transfer and go to the emergency room where all the coronavirus patients are, then you don't have work because not, uh, nobody else goes to the hospital because they're afraid of catching the virus. So if your job is not in the emergency room, there's a lot of chance you're unemployed because the other departments of the hospital are closed because people don't go there. And there's, you know, there's like things like surgery, physical therapy, all kinds of things. You cannot do them using technology. You have to be there. Okay. I see. Well, I wanted to talk about all these topics and uh, get another perspective because here in Panama, we are handling things a little bit different, similar or different at the same time. But I wanted people in Panama to hear from you that you live there, that uh, how the government and what are you doing and what works, what doesn't work in, in the new economy now, because I guess people is going to take longer to get out and the technology it's going to be something that maybe everybody is going to start using now to do business because you don't know when it's going to happen again. And maybe people will work more from home and live more at home, but at least they can make money using the technology. And for all the people that's watching the video right now, and um, I want to tell them that we know each other from Spalding University because we went to uh, with the scholarship, the soccer scholarship. We met there in 2001, 2000, I think. And we have a, a friendship relationship and that's why we are doing this meeting because we know each other from, from college year. And I wanted people to know that you can do different things from home like you're doing right now. In this case, it works for you. In my case, I can only give advice to people. I cannot sell property right now because people don't want to get closer to other people. 
So this is just an uh, information topic for all my customers and people who gonna watch this video. So thank you, George, for spending your time and explaining a little bit about what's going on in the United States, especially in Tampa. So thank you, and I see you next time. Thank you very much, Fuyan. Uh, take care, and uh, you know we're all in this pretty much the same. So we have to look look for our health too. I mean, the economy and everything else, they will have the years and years to come back. So stay healthy, my friend. All right. Same for your family. See you. See you. Take care.